Well, if we find them, I'll get the kit, right? What is the matter with you? That's my war. Find him. Father. Not now. Those are the guys we saw with Baldur, his nephews. Aye, Magni and Modi, the sons of Thor. Mother always said the Aesir were the worst of gods, and Thor was the worst of the Aesir. Guess he's a terrible father, too. They are no longer children. They have no excuse. Will Sindri be okay? They'll never even see him. the great dining hall. Envy of all Midgard. Funny. A massive the you just can't help but break things, can you? If memory serves, the Jarl's throne was just on the other side of that wall of ice.
see it pass out. There's no way to reach it. Something ahead. See, Lodge, he's fine. Thought it best to vanish when Thor's idiot sons showed up. Those men, what do you know of them? First, they're not men, they're gods. Well, demigods. Anyway, let's see. Thor's their dad, different moms, sordid story that one, Baldur's their uncle, Odin, dear old grandpa, oh, and a sister named... Weapons. How do they fight? Oh, of course. Magni's strong. Really strong. Carries a huge sword hardened by cyclonic thunder. And Modi? Ugh. I'd sooner lick a rat than shake that dumb heap's hand. His mace and shields are just a cheap knockoff of my elegant work on their dad's hammer. Best to follow my lead and avoid. But, <laughs> who am I talking to? Hey, Sindri. Have you met Mimir? If you mean the severed head that keeps blinking at me, please, keep it away. There is no possible way that's hygienic. Oh, that's nice. 
Lovely to see you too, Sundry. Nob. Why? Is that a piece of my braided mistletoe arrow adorning your quiver strap? Oh, a little memento of your good pal, Sindri. I'm so terribly touched. Did you really make that axe for my mother? Oh, I'd recognize it anywhere. Ask me. It's one of our best. Infused with the echoing screams of 20 frost trolls. Give or take. But why her? How did you know her? She sought us out in the beginning. She was... A special woman. She wanted to protect people. I suppose we thought it was a chance to give power to someone who'd use it for good. She even spoke our native tongue. She'd say, Mavurin Sem Gengur, Egen Vigum Hans. Gengur I. That's right. That's impressive. I see a lot of her in your eyes. You know? Thanks, and Don't touch me. What? I didn't. I won't. I'll come back later. Be careful where you're going. There's nobody nice out here anymore since all the people left. I mean, I hate to generalize, but um, mostly they just try to kill you. Good tip. Um, I know it's not my business, but if I were you, I'd wash off that symbol painted on your neck. We were told it would help protect us. Was that a lie? Oh, no, it's a protection stave, all right, but... You can't render that pigment into paintable texture without blending it with boar urine. And is that really better than death? Maybe a little. Well, well, it's your neck. <laughs> Sindri, have you always been so... Clean? Huh. Don't I wish. No, I was just as unsanitary as the next dwarf until the day a Vanir witch set me straight. She discovered with her magic there are hundreds of thousands of tiny beasties on everything around us. Oh, so small you can't even see them. No. It's true. And if they get inside you, they make you sick. But the witch told me there's one wood, the oak, that's a natural deterrent. Stops the beasties from spreading. So now, I make all my handles from oak. See? I think of these things. Okay, back to work. So how come Brock's blue and you're not? Boy. Oh, it's fine. Very good question, actually. You see, my brother's not as careful as I am. In fact, he prefers to work with metals using oh, his own bare hands. Ugh. No gloves. Says it's the only way he can hear what it wants to be. Touch enough raw silver and it changes your skin irreparably. That means forever. I wouldn't bring it up to him, though. <laughs> You know how sensitive he can be. I guess that makes sense. Sindri, why don't you just make up with your brother already? Me? Make up with him? Because he's an obstinate pighead incapable of change. Because he says the most terrible things about me. Just because he's insecure about his own work. Which, let me tell you, is subpar. Because he blames me for... for the things that aren't my fault. Huh? Like what? Would you pardon me, please? I need to collect myself. Uh, yes, yes, come in. For the youngster. I think that's a key for That looks amazing. If I say so myself.
Until we meet again, my friends. Will you focus on your damn job? You quit that shit. I mean it! He went to war with Uncle and walked away. Maybe. Uncle had to be straight to the end. As long as father believes him, so do we. So you will stop talking, focus, and help me, father. Once you retrieve the whetstone, please take utmost care while handling it. It is a priceless relic, after all. Hurry, brother. We may get a piece of the chisel and be gone before they even notice. Got a bow. What are we gonna do? <laughs> Small one sword. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> I will triple you. Odin want. Don't know. Don't care. Come here, Hathaway. You don't know that is hand. Shut up! Don't call me that! Look. 
Looks like they need another lesson. More than happy to teach, brother. <laughs> He needs Freya. No! Steady. I'll be all right. Where do you go, lad? I'm fine, see? We 
We should keep an eye on him. Do. With that, we can carve the travel rune to Jotunheim. Get you where you need to go. Oh, incidentally, all those magically sealed doors we've seen can now be unlocked. Like that one round the corner. You can get through that door there now that you've got the chisel. He did. He was a god. But you killed him. Minor Aesir, perhaps. But I. And his father is Thor. Not minor. Not minor at all, him. This will not go over well in Asgard. I defended us. Nothing more. I fear no judgment. Judgment, no. But if vengeance is any concern. Since when can you kill a god? <coughs> Once you retrieve the whetstone, please take Wait, utmost care while handling it. It is a priceless relic, after all. <coughs> I don't think the lad's doing too well. I'm fine. <coughs> to worry about. If so, then keep up. Yes, sir. back to life. That is interesting. It's known the Aesir find their own way to Valhalla. No Valkyrie escort, no processing at the gates of Helheim. That may be significant.
cloak. Back near the giant's head. What? What is this place? Fisherman would bring the day's catch into this port and use that contraption to send some of it directly to the Jarl's main kitchen. The rest were sorted and sold. There is an exit under the thumb. Find a way across. There is an opening. I can get it. There's a path to the exit on the other side. Under his palm. We're almost there. Everything we just did. Climbed around a dead giant, rode a giant falling hammer, fought some bad gods. What do you think Mother would say? Bet you have come a long way. Thanks. this one, don't you? It's Tamu, the giant stonemason. Is he building a wall around Jotunheim? It was to be his masterwork. He only wanted to protect his people. Too bad the first part got burned. I prefer the last part. Come, boy. Right behind you.
feels like like a prison. That would explain the hefty magical lock on the outside. But it's more than that. I have this feeling like something is waiting for us down here. You have a knack for ominous statements, lad. What kind of something? I'm not sure. Something powerful. Whatever you feel, boy, we will handle it. We have come this far, yes? Yes, father. A Valkyrie? Imprisoned? She actually did it. A Valkyrie? But I thought they were just spirits. Take caution, lads. A Valkyrie in the flesh. I can't think of a more formidable opponent. She does not attack. Does she even know we're here?
have freed me from my corrupted form. You have my eternal gratitude. But my sisters remain trapped as I was. Take my helm. Find them. Free them. The fate of the Valkyries rests on your shoulders. The fate of the Valkyries. Sounds pretty important. That's putting it mildly, lad. What do you know of them? A fair question, and yet not one easily answered. I know more than most, but much of their history is veiled in secrecy. My own experience with the Valkyries ends with my imprisonment. You are avoiding the question, eh? As I said, brother, it's complicated. I don't know why or how they become such wretched creatures, but perhaps if we can free more of them... You want us to find more of those things? The fate of the Valkyries, lad. A more worthy endeavor there is not. It will be dangerous. Well, that hasn't stopped you before, eh? Mm. That's the spirit. What now then? Maybe Freya ought to have a look at the boy. No, I feel better now. I just needed to catch my breath. Where do we go next? Well, now that we've got the giant's chisel, we need to learn the travel rune to Yacht Knight, so we can carve it into that special gateway atop the peak, and open realm travel to the land of the giants. You don't know it? <laughs> 